Living next to the Wulsong nuclear power plant on South Korea's east coast, this small group of neighbors has been staging protests like this since 2014. And plans to expand the country's nuclear power industry are adding to their fears. Protest organizer Huang Bunhee claims her diagnosis of thyroid cancer is a direct result of radiation exposure. We can see the nuclear power plant from here. It's way too close. I don't want to see it anymore. She and her neighbors say their concerns have gone unanswered by the government. What's more, since President Yoon Suk-yeol took office in May, South Korea is set to go ahead with an ambitious expansion in nuclear power generation. South Korea currently has 24 reactors, but there are plans for six more plants by 2036. According to the government, the worldwide energy crisis, made worse by the war in Ukraine, should highlight the need for more domestic power generation, especially in this growing industrial giant that's hungry for electricity. But according to opponents, the government should be directing its efforts into renewable energy instead. If they expand nuclear power and reduce renewable energy for carbon neutrality, then it makes no progress on carbon reduction. Rather, the risks of nuclear waste and accidents will increase. Huang and her neighbors say tests have proven they've been exposed to radiation. But the plant's operators say the levels of radioactive tritium apparently detected are well within safe limits. Bananas contain potassium and we can be exposed to radiation when we eat them. The maximum amount of tritium residents can be exposed to is the same as eating six bananas a year. But as the world's fifth biggest producer of nuclear power embarked on a rapid expansion, such assurances aren't likely to ease concerns for many living near to the new plants. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.